Thomas and Joyce McNally. Looking back at your tapes, to see where your hair was at because you're always switching it up and I, I love that you're yeah. doing that. It's a, it's a long a long stride to that pink short bob I had, but yeah. I, I love to go. back to blonde, it's happening. It's happening. <laughs> it is. So dry shampoo, uh, texturizing spray, volume, volumizers, they're all actually different. They all do different things, even yep. though they're all a little bit about pumping that hair up. That's right. So you've got three models with us right now. We're gonna start with Ashley. And you're, yes. Are you starting with the dry shampoo? I'm gonna be starting with the dry shampoo. Okay. I think this is the one that we know about most commonly, right? Right? Yes. Uh, but there's still some mistakes and some do's and don'ts when it comes to the product. So I would say, first of all, does it give you volume? Yes, it does. Okay. But it's kind of a byproduct of it absorbing the oils in your hair. So the best part about it is that it allows us to go a little further with our maybe second or third day hair, bring it to the gym, yes. and absorb the oils. So the purpose of the product is to absorb natural oils at the new growth throughout the roots of the hair. Okay. When you spray it, it should not be this far from your head. That's one thing. Oh, really? A lot of the time, and, I, and I'm at the gym, and I see those girls walk yes. doing it, and it's right up here. And you're like, no, no, I no. I almost no. want to tap them on the shoulder. Yes. I'm going to show you. So you want to come about, you know, 10 centimeters or a couple of... Oh, or, you need to be farther. What I do is stretch my arm straight out and then bend it slightly, and okay. that's about the right length from my head. Okay. So I'm going to spray it in in short bursts. And one yeah. of the things that we get with dry shampoo is that white sort of powdery look, right? Yeah. So when you do it from a distance, you're going to get a little bit more of a softer effect on the hair. Got it. The other thing I would say too, is when we get something that's really, really powdery, using your hands, give yourself a head massage. Who doesn't want a head massage? Yeah. Really work the, the, even the oils that are on your hands will help to massage that in. Okay. And the other thing is re-blow dry it. Hit it with some heat. Mm -hmm. You can put a round brush in there and restyle that. Amazing. Okay. And if your hair is blonde, this actually helps make the roots look less obvious. Oh, that's good. Yeah. If it's dark, I yes. would say put it in at nighttime yes. and kind of restyle, like touch it up in the morning. So you want to get rid of that powdery look, obviously. Yes. That's why you're saying hit it with some heat, hit it with yes. a massage, like get it in there so you're Absolutely. not walking around looking like dandruff head yes or, right? or yeah or baby powder party or right? baby powder party okay yeah okay fair enough so those are my tips on dry shampoo so we're yes. gonna go to volumizing powder okay volumizing powder this is uh, Melissa here How, what would you what would you need this for it's a small when bottle would you with use big this? results so okay. what it's going to do unlike a dry shampoo is it does have a lot of a stronger hold in the hair so it gives a grippiness like almost yes. a, a rubbery feeling we often say it's back home in a bottle oh, so nice. when working with a dry shampoo you're going to use it there's three three times that i would highly suggest you use it yeah one is for volume in the crown so that's just lightly tapping the product yeah. and not shaking it like a salt and pepper shaker just a mm. nice little light tap okay and it does absorb nicely into the hair so i would put it in the crown mm -hmm. And maybe before back combing. The okay. other time I like it is in the front when we get kind of a swoopy bang that gets a little greasy throughout the day. Yes. This allows us to give a little bit less of that but also lift it off the forehead. How many of you feel like at the end of the day if you have bangs they're basically stuck to your face. Yeah, you want them off. Yeah, you want them you off. You want them off. So I would, and I love this. I showed it a, a few years ago, I remember, but how to do a last all day. Uh -huh. So you notice I always take wherever the part is, I take hair, I lift, and I apply these kinds of products underneath. So when your part comes down, you don't have that matteness on the top. Right. Okay, so I'm going to apply it into the new growth of the fringe. If, if we were to do this kind of swoopy across, like something along those lines, I would also dust it right into the tips of the hair. Okay. And massage it in to give a little bit of texture. Got it. The last thing I'm going to say, this is cement for bobby pins. If oh. you want to put your hair in a ponytail and it's super, super slippery, put dust it in there. If those baby hairs at the back of your head won't stay up, put dust it in there and put some bobby pins in. It is cement for bobby pins. It's amazing oh, that's what cool. a difference it will make. Okay, good yeah. to know. All right. All right, so let's now move on to uh, Darmika, and yes. you're going to use the... Texturizing spray. Tra yeah. Texturizing spray. So this is going to give you a little bit more to hold on to with your hair. It's going to give it some texture. This is, so unlike the other two products that were really focused on the mid shaft uh, or the new growth of the hair, yes. this is really all about the mid lengths and ends. Okay. So amazing if you have a bit of a wave or set in the hair. Mm -hmm. You can lift it from the roots. And in this zone, I'm going to spray, and it's like a, oh, 
<laughs> well, okay, it's like a spray <laughs> wax yeah. that just gives us a little bit more texture. Okay. And it really helps to lift and separate and give us more volume. So would this be if she like had a natural wave or would this yeah, be even naturally a, curly hair like so your hair I would do? natural curly hair mm -hmm. or hair that she's just put a little bit of a curl into? Yes. This is going to keep it. Or even if we had short hair like over here, yes. I could spray it right into the back all in the mid length and ends. And that's what's going okay. to lift that and give it more body. Would you ever use all three or is that just ridiculous? No, actually you definitely could. You could, huh? Oh yes. And then your hair is like this. Yes. <laughs> right? Absolutely. Okay. All right. I like that. Yeah.